If you're looking to start selling wholesale on Shopify without needing Shopify Plus, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll guide you through a step-by-step -step process that's perfect for smaller businesses and startups. We'll break it down into four simple steps. Step one, open a Shopify store. I'll walk you through the quick and easy process of setting up your Shopify account. Step two, recommend the best Shopify wholesale apps, both free and paid. Step three, create and manage wholesale customer groups. Learn how to organize and segment your customers effectively to offer tailored pricing and exclusive access. Step four, set up your storefront using both free and paid themes. I'll give you tips on designing a professional user-friendly storefront that appeals to wholesale customers. And to top it all off, we'll look at some successful Shopify wholesale stores to give you real world examples and inspiration. Let's get started. All right, let's dive into step one, opening a Shopify store. First things first, you'll need to sign up for a Shopify account. I've included a quick link in the description below that you can use to get started. This is an affiliate link, which means that if you use it, you'll be supporting our channel at no extra cost to you. Now that we've set up your Shopify store, it's time to dive into step two, recommending the best Shopify wholesale apps. These apps will help you set up wholesale pricing, manage customer groups, and customize your store to cater to wholesale clients. First up, let's talk about setting up your wholesale pricing. One of the best free apps for this is B2B Wholesale Plus Forms and Pricing. You can find it on the Shopify App Store, and I've included a link in the description below. With this app, you can easily set up wholesale forms and pricing without needing Shopify Plus. Let's go through the steps together. Step one, basic information. Here, you'll give your wholesale page and sign up form a name. Keep it short and descriptive, 64 characters max. Next, let's move to pricing details. Here, you can set up quantity discounts. For example, you can offer a percentage off for buying in bulk. This encourages larger orders and rewards your wholesale customers. Step three, customer groups. After pricing, we need to decide whether you want to apply discounts to all users, only logged in customers, or specific customer tags. This allows you to tailor your pricing to different customer segments. Step four, triggers. Now let's set some triggers for when these discounts apply. You can apply discounts to specific products, all products or certain collections. This flexibility helps you control your wholesale pricing strategy effectively. Step five. Once your triggers are set, it's time to customize the look and feel. Choose from different templates and customize them to match your brand. Add titles, descriptions, and even countdown timers to create a sense of urgency. Finally, let's check out the support options. If you need any help, the app offers detailed support information. Once you're done customizing, click save. You can preview the changes immediately or check them later. Here is how it looks in my store. Pretty neat, right? And that's it. You've now set up your wholesale pricing. Before moving on to the next part of our video, I have a small favor to ask. If you found this video helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us reach more viewers and allows us to continue creating valuable content for you. locking or hiding products, collections, prices, or specific pages on your store. This is crucial for managing exclusive wholesale content. There are two excellent apps that can help you with this. Wholesale Lock Manager B2B and B2B Lock Password Protect. In this video, we'll be focusing on the B2B Lock Password Protect app. Once you've installed the app, navigate to the page restriction tab to begin. You can see several options like login view pages, passcode view pages, and more. Let's focus on creating a rule for locking a specific page. Click on create rule and let's start with the basic details. Here you'll need to type in the rule name and set the status to enable or disable. Make sure the rule name is descriptive so you can easily manage it later. Next, we'll set up the customer restrictions. In this step, you can choose to restrict customers who have not logged in or from specific markets. This ensures only your intended audience can view the locked content. Now, let's select which pages to restrict. You can choose specific pages like the home page, cart page, or any custom pages. This flexibility allows you to control access to different parts of your store. 
Moving on to the content that will be displayed on the locked pages, here you can customize the message that appears when customers try to access the locked content. You can also choose to hide the store's header footer or navigation bar to make the page cleaner. Once you're done customizing, click Save. Finally, let's take a look at the app's demo store to see all these features in action. You can find this in the App Admin dashboard under the Get Started section. And that's it for locking and hiding content on your Shopify store. Now that we've covered the basics of locking and hiding content, let's dive into some advanced Shopify B2B features. These features will help you manage your wholesale operations more effectively and offer a seamless experience for your B2B customers. There are a few excellent apps that can provide these advanced features. One, wholesale pricing discount. Two, Sparklayer B2B and wholesale. Three, BSB2B wholesale solution. In this video, we'll be focusing on the B2B wholesale solution app. Once you've installed the app, you'll start by picking your company product, category, and size. Next, you'll need to confirm your email address to proceed. Then, you'll pick the B2B solutions that you're most interested in. This helps tailor the app's features to your specific needs. Now, let's look at how to set up. In the B2B pricing plan, you can set up volume and tier discounts, manage order minimums, and configure net payment terms. Finally, let's take a look at the app's other features such as customer management, order management, and advanced settings. With this app, you can easily manage your wholesale customers' orders and discounts all in one place. It's time to move on to step three, creating and managing wholesale customer groups. This is essential for organizing your wholesale clients and providing them with tailored experiences. Today, we'll be using the B2B Wholesale Solution app to demonstrate this process. First, let's start by creating a customer registration form. This form will help you collect important information from your wholesale customers. To go to the customer management section, here you'll see options for registration forms and auto tags. We'll focus on creating a registration form. Click on registration forms and then on create registration form. In this section, you can customize your registration form. Start by entering the form name and enabling the status. You can choose whether customers need to be manually approved after registration or if they can be auto-approved based on their email domain. Now let's set up the fields for the registration form. You can add multiple fields like first name, last name, email, and password. You can also add custom fields such as checkboxes, date fields, file uploads, and more. In the Advanced Settings tab, you can auto-exempt tax for customers who register with this form, choose a template for email notifications, and set up various other options. Once you've customized your registration form, click Save. Managing the information collected from these forms is straightforward. You can view and edit customer details, manage tags, and apply specific rules based on customer groups. This helps you organize your wholesale clients efficiently. There are a lot of in-depth customization options available in this app. You can explore the app further and see how it can best fit your business needs. Have fun with it. Now it's time to set up your storefront. We'll be exploring both free and paid themes to give you options based on your budget and needs. Let's start with a great free theme. The trade theme, just so you know, we have a dedicated video review of the Shopify trade theme, which you can quickly check out via this card up here. This theme is designed for high volume stores and members only stores. It's perfect for businesses that process a large number of transactions and require customers to have a membership to purchase. I've included the link in the description below. Now, let's move on to some paid themes that offer advanced features and more customization options. First up is the Enterprise theme. This theme is ideal for large businesses with extensive product catalogs. It offers advanced filtering options, customizable product grids, and a professional corporate look. Next, we have the Extra theme. This theme is perfect for wholesale stores, offering features like tiered pricing, bulk order forms, and a clean modern design that's optimized for B2B transactions. Lastly, the capital theme. 
This theme is designed for high-end businesses and offers a sleek, sophisticated look. It includes features like video integration, advanced product filtering, and multiple homepage layouts to create a unique shopping experience. Each of these themes offers unique features that can help elevate your store's look and functionality. Depending on your business needs and budget, you can choose the theme that best suits your brand. This is the last chapter of our video where we'll get inspired by some successful Shopify wholesale stores. Reviewing these stores will help us highlight their best features and understand what makes them stand out. Today, we'll be looking at Made in Cookware, BLK and Bold, and Tofino Soap Company. First up, let's take a look at Made in Cookware. Made in Cookware is a fantastic example of a successful wholesale store. Their website is clean, professional, and easy to navigate. One of the standout features is their high quality product images and detailed descriptions. They also have a dedicated section for wholesale inquiries, making it easy for potential wholesale customers to get in touch. Next, let's visit BLK and Bold. Their site features a modern design with bold visuals and a strong brand identity. They offer a variety of products with clear, easy to read descriptions and pricing information. The store also emphasizes their social impact which adds an extra layer of appeal for customers who value corporate responsibility. Lastly, let's check out Tofino Soap Company. Tofino Soap Company has a beautiful earthy aesthetic that reflects their commitment to natural and sustainable products. Their site is user-friendly with a simple layout that makes it easy to find products and place orders. They also have a blog section that provides useful information and tips, helping to engage and educate their customers. Each of these stores showcases excellent design and functionality serving as great examples for your own Shopify wholesale store. We've covered a lot in this video. Setting up a wholesale store on Shopify can seem daunting, but with the right tools and knowledge, you can create a professional and efficient online store that meets your business needs. I hope you found this video series helpful and inspiring. Take some time to explore these apps and example stores and think about how you can apply their best features to your own site. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. 